Hello YouTube, I am back. <laughs> it has been two weeks now. Um, I decided to take a slight break after reaching 1k because, you know, just, just a slight rest to recharge my creative batteries or whatever people say to excuse themselves for taking a long break. Anyway, I'm back and with another sketch with me type video. So I, I don't have really a topic to, well actually I do have topics to talk about, it's just that I don't have any script nor do I have bullet points, so I'm, I'm sort of winging it, so please bear with me and my stuttering or my long pauses because uh, yeah, um, don't worry, artist analysis are coming back, I still need to do my collection of art books and manga, that is coming, I'm just trying to, you know, work with a new setup because um, one of my co-workers got me this cool phone stand gooseneck thing so I could, you know, have the camera face the desk as I'm looking through my books and manga and whatever the hell. So um, yeah, that, that is coming. Um, also later today I'm picking up another art book so I might post it on the community page and or my, well I'm gonna post it on the community page and my Instagram so look forward to that. I think you guys know what it is. Um, I'm gonna get the Sky and book from Ogre Ito, so yeah. Another, also, another reason why I was not uploading because I was doing some collab things. Um, yeah, that's gonna be a thing that I'm gonna probably do soon. I'm gonna do, I'm doing a collab with YH Otaku, definitely gonna do a collab with Chris Mason. Definitely, I'm basically things are happening behind the scenes, hence why I've been sort of inactive. That along with my mini break that I'm taking. Um, so yeah. Also, long I could um, with the community page, I could also do polls now. So this way, I can actually ask you guys, like out of a set of artists that I plan to look at, I could see which one has the most votes, and I could just, you know, start from there. I think that'll be a really, really good idea to like see what you guys want instead of me just randomly pick artists out of a hat. So um, yeah. Um, but before I do that, um, there's probably one or two artists that I'm probably gonna have to look at. Probably, you know, like Hajime Isayama. I definitely have to look at him eventually. I'm, I'm, prob I'm probably gonna look at him next, like for the next artist analysis I plan to do. Since, you know, Attack on Titan is finished and I might as well look at him while he's still somewhat fresh, I guess. Um, I just need to write the script because <laughs> I didn't even do that yet. Um, find material and so forth and yeah. And don't you dare ask me what I think about the story or the ending. For me, I do not care, honestly. Well, I do care, but I wasn't highly as invested in the story or ending as others were. Um, but um, I do like his art and I do appreciate a lot of things he has done at an artistic point of view. So um, look forward to that. <sighs> So, um, yeah, y you know what I realized from doing this YouTube thing? I realized that I don't have a lot of in like real life artistic friends, so but through YouTube, I'm now I feel like I'm making some now, which is actually really good. And it's strange because despite me going to two art schools, I it didn't come out with a lot of friends in art because when I went to my art high school, people only went there just to end up majoring in psychology or medical school or like any medical science and things like that so that didn't last and when I went to art college um let's just say at the tail end of my time at art college the <laughs> the world sort of ended with the virus so there was a year of isolation so no connections were kept through that so yeah most of my friends that know of my youtube channel are aren't even artists so i feel like it's hard to you know have them invest in what i do because while i could easily talk about anime and i do have now a lot of friends that are into anime but this isn't an anime review channel i, I, I feel like i have to stress that i talk about anime artists mangaka and things like that but i don't want to get into like like well i guess i could touch a bit on it because like the story themes like art does play a a part in that i guess but 
I'm not gonna talk about let's say like the plot, the characters, character development, and all of that. Like I, I personally don't believe myself to be that good in that field of video or that field of making video essays. Art, on the other hand, I've been spending almost a decade researching, doing art-centered like research topics. So I feel like I'm really good at at least that. So I thought to like, you know, talk about like art and anime at the same time and here yeah that's how my hours analysis series came to be so yeah but um yeah I, I need more artistic friends and hopefully i'll be able to find them through youtube which i i have been finding so that's really good i i'm i didn't think i'd be able to make friends on youtube because or through online because i find that i don't know it's just it's, it's for me it's easier to meet and become friends with someone face to face because Despite me and my dead deadpan way of speaking, I'm much more of a face-to-face -face type of talker. I hate texting. I hate group chats. I hate, um, I just hate like text message-based communication. Hence why I prefer um, video chats or FaceTiming with people since seeing their face talking, I don't know, I get a better connection through that. So. Um, yeah, hopefully as I build up this channel, I get to do more collaborations with other like-minded artists and we could build a community or something like that. And maybe a Discord because I still need to do something with that Discord thing. But um, I'll, I'll let you guys know how that turns out to be. Um, trying to think of things to talk about since I want to make this above 10 minutes because YouTube well, people have always, always tell me that to make it on YouTube, all your videos need to be 10 minutes long. And I'm just like, damn, I need to speak for 10 full minutes? I, I, uh, uh. All right, fine. Well, I'll think of something to talk about. Oh yeah, recently, I, I've been finding out that people think, well, no one online, but in real life, when people see my drawings, some of my friends don't think I actually drew them, which I find somewhat flattering and insulting because as i mentioned most of my friends aren't artists so when they sometimes see only the finished product they think i'm tracing a photo and that's not the case especially since procreate records the process with procreate being my sort of alibi um it gives a bit of legitimacy to my art skill which is a question i sort of want to ask like what makes an artist legitimate to you guys like I know some people like they make tutorials on YouTube or they have big Instagram accounts like like is an artist only legitimate if they have like a large following or is an artist only legitimate if they went to art school or something like that is an artist legitimate if they've been in the industry like what about the artists that are freelance or never been to art school or never have been in the industry and just do their thing on Instagram or YouTube and just doing their thing like and I don't have the answer, let's just say that. I don't have the answer to that because I know plenty of artists on YouTube that haven't been to art school. They're not really in the industry per se. They're just doing their own thing and they do an amazing art. And I, I would consider them as much of an artist as any artist that's in the industry or not. Like that, that's, the, that's the beauty, I guess. Like if you're good, you're good. And as I said before, your skill does not being highly skilled doesn't necessarily mean you'll be successful as an artist. It, well, how do I, how do I word this? It's, there's a correlation, but it's not causative, I would say. Because it's, you could be good, and you could not have no following. On the other hand, there's, they could be, I guess, someone with not as great, not at a great level of draftsmanship. But you can still have a following, say if you do like fan art, if you're in like these communities and draw like things from the latest the big thing. Like when Invincible came out, there's a ton of Invincible fan art and you can easily get like a bunch of people following you there. Like, yeah. But anyway, I, I sort of want to know your thoughts on that. Like what makes an artist legitimate? Like their skill or their number? Or like, or would there be, would it be their credentials? Like if they have a bachelor's in fine art because i have that i have that bachelor's of fine art like hanging on my wall right now 
And I'll tell you right now, I don't feel as as any legitimate as I did when I have it as I did before I had it. So I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. Anyway, I finally made it to 10 minutes. So <laughs> um, yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, and this would be the part where I plug in my socials because I've been told I have to do it at the end of the video. But yeah, you can follow my Instagram. You can follow my Twitter if you want. I barely post on Twitter, but I need to start doing that. You can support me on Patreon, although don't support me yet because I don't have a lot of things on Patreon. I need to, I need to work on it. Um, subscribe. I think I said that already. I don't know. But um, yeah, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. And yes, I will be doing my art book collection and my manga collection very, very soon. Within this month, I promise. I hope. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.